Associated Press photographer James Alkin was actually looking toward the book depository. As I was getting ready to make some pictures, why, uh, I heard this noise. I thought it was a firecracker explosion. I just went ahead and made the picture, which shows the president right after he was struck by a bullet, struck in the neck, the first shot. And this was a picture that the Warren report later fixed as uh, being made two seconds after the shot was fired. And um, as they got in close to me, and I was prepared to make the picture, I had my camera almost at eye level. That's when the president was shot in the head. And uh, I do know that the president was still in an upright position, tilted, favoring Mrs. Kennedy. And at the time that he was struck by this blow to the head, it was so obvious that it came from behind. It had to come from behind because it caused him to bolt forward, dislodging him from this depression in the seat cushion and already favoring Mrs. Kennedy. He automatically fell in that direction. The uh, one thing that uh, did uh, uh, seem to be a little bit strange, immediately after the car proceeded on to Parkland Hospital, men with drawn guns ran up the terrace of this plaza up into what is considered to be and referred to as the Knoll area and thinking that they had the assassin cornered up in this Knoll area and it seemed rather strange as I say because knowing that the shot came from behind this fellow had to really move in order to get over into the Knoll area. You uh, have no thoughts about another assassin behind the fence or on the Knoll? I've had a lot of people to contact me and that uh, they felt there was another person involved in trying to get me to uh, verify either photographs they had or to uh, work out some information they felt they had come across to uh, substantiate the evidence uh, of, uh, substantiate the fact that there was another assassin. But at no time has any of this evidence proved to me beyond a shadow of a doubt that there was another assassin.